are coming to you with another makeup tutorial. This one's going to be a voiceover on this monochromatic peach look you see. I did a matte eye with some really nice glowier skin. I kind of like that juxtaposition of if you have a nice strong glow on your cheeks, especially because I did use a glowier blush to like mattify the eyes. And I find it doesn't detract. Also, since I'm wearing a bolder lash, I didn't want anything too glittery. I am not doing too much tonight. But I hope you guys really enjoy this video and comment down below what makeup looks you would like to see next. Let's get into it. We are going to get started on the look by our eyes. We're going to prime them with Wet n Wild Concealer in the shade Fair and blend it out with our finger. I find that this is clears out all the redness and the veining that's in my eyes and looks just as well as any old eye primer. I'm going to set it with the RCMA Mini Color Powder. Really nice powder, great value, love it. We're going to use the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette, one of my favorites. We're going to use the Peaches and Cream shade. It's a nice light peachy shade. We're just going to use this as a transition shade in our crease, but I'm not going to keep it just in the crease. Let it just kind of sloppily go over on a really nice loose brush. Um, if it gets on your lid, that's great. If it gets on your brow bone, that's fine. And then we're going to go in with Just Peachy, which is a bit more of a pure peach, a darker peach. I'm just going to use this to peach up the look. Keep this more in the crease on a stiffer, more tapered blending brush. I don't want this going too high or too low. I mean, if it goes low, that's fine. But yeah, I'm putting it on the outer corner as well to give that more definition and more peachiness as well. Then we're going to go into the shade Fresh Pick, which is a bit more of a brown peach, a peachy brown. I'm going to use this to deepen it up a little bit, add more definition, and definitely keep this closer in the crease and the outer corner, blending and blending and blending as you go. I use windshield wiper motions and circular motions at times, but when I'm keeping it closer in the crease, I make sure the circular motions are really small so it doesn't blow it out too much. Also, if you want to extend your shadow up towards your brow more, this would be the time that you can do that using windshield wiper motions. Then we go into the shade Peach Tart, which is a nice warm brown. I'm going to keep this really close in the crease. As you can see, I'm kind of picking up my brush every now and then to make sure that it's not going anywhere too far. And I am pulling it onto my lid as well a little bit to bring more definition there. This is going to darken up the crease. It is going to mute the peaches a little bit but don't worry we are going to fix that but you just want to keep blending on a stiff tapered blending brush until it's all pretty much blended out and we'll deal with the harsh lines in just a second then we're going to take chocolate dipped which is a darker kind of cool toned brown and this is going to really deepen it up make this more of a smoky peach look, but it's not going to take away from the peach because it is more of a neutral. It's just going to keep it looking really fresh, defined. I don't know. I think it looks really good. And then we are going to mix the shades Just Peachy and Fresh Picked to add some peachiness back to this and blend peach tart and chocolate dipped out, making sure there's no harsh lines. And then we're going to go into the shade Peach Butter, which is kind of a white with a peach undertone. I'm going to use this to mattify and carve out that crease, as you can see there. Then we're going to go onto the face using the Smashbox Photo Focus Primer. I love this. I find it fills my pores, makes my skin look photoshopped and smooth. And I'm going to wipe this on, like, massage it into my skin and then pat my tees on afterwards. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 140. It is super watery. And I just apply this to my skin in sections and then blend it out using a real technique sponge. This does dry pretty quickly, but I love the finish of it. It dries down to almost a powder, so you don't really need to set it. But since I have combination skin and I do get oily, I do set it as you'll see. But I do work in sections since it does dry quickly and it's more difficult to blend out if I dot it onto my whole face. And I don't know why this is coming off so splotchy on camera. Maybe it's because it's still do we? I don't know. It's splotchy the entire video. I'm sorry. It was not the splotchy in real life. I think it's because of my acne and dryness. So I'm having a pretty bad day this day. But I am careful around my eyes to not pull it too far. And I try not to get in my brows, but it happens. And that's totally fine. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep blending this. Pulling my hair back from my hairline so it doesn't get in there. And then I'm going to apply more to the target areas where I get more redness or just need more coverage, which is usually my cheeks, forehead, 
and a little bit on my nose, but I try not to put too much on my nose because it will break up and get cakey as the day goes on, I find on me. And I do make sure I pay attention to my jawline and neck and apply it there. During and after, and I'm just taking the excess and really blending onto my skin. And then we are going to apply concealer. I'm using the Wet n Wild Concealer from earlier, as well as the Urban Decay Naked Skin Fluid. This is in the shade Light Neutral. Apply that to lighten it and also just give a tiny bit more coverage. I'm going to blend that out using my sponge again. Just really making sure it's super, super, super blended. I don't want any harsh lines and taking on my nose to highlight a bit. Gonna set with the RCMA No Color Powder again. I'm gonna make sure I'm patting this in. I find if I rub, it just pulls it away and really makes it settle into my fine lines and creases. I'm gonna set the rest of my face using the Too Faced Born This Way powder. I really like the way that this looks. And I tend to stamp it on my skin first and then swirl it. I find that stamping it gives a very even application and you're not swiping and pulling at the foundation that you just put on. It's not totally necessary with this foundation since it does pretty much dry powdery. And then we're going to take care of the lower lash line. I'm going to use Peaches and Cream again on a small like, contouring brush and apply this all over the lower lash line. And this is going to pull in the peach from before and really make the look, look finished and also a little bit smokier. Then I'm going to take the shade Just Peachy and do the same exact thing. Just blending in on my lower lash line, really making sure I get that color in there. And then, holy cow, we're taking Peach Punch. This is going to pull the peach in completely and really make it look even peachier than before. I mean, look at that. And then we're going to take Peach Tart and just tap off that axis. Just want a little bit in the outer corner. But oh my goodness, did you notice how Peach Tart just brought out the peach shades on our lid? Oh, I love it. Then we're going to take Peach Butter and just use that to blend out the lower lash line. I didn't want to take anything too dark that was going to mess with the colors, but I did want to blend it out a bit. Now we're going to do liner using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. It's not my absolute favorite, but it is a nice one. And I messed up there. I didn't really want a thick wing, and that kind of made me have to do it. But hey, improvisation, right? Right. And my hand gets in the way multiple times. It's difficult applying liquid liner when your camera's off to the side and you gotta look in the mirror, whatever. Just making sure it's even and I do like to pull it down closer to the corner of my eye where my waterline is so there's not a weird gap there. So that's what I'm doing there. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes in preparation for mascara. Well no actually, but they are in preparation for mascara. And I'm using the Milani Stay Put Liner to tight line. And I'm going to apply the Tarte Tartist Lash Paint Mascara. And I like to put this on my lashes. And I do brush it onto the tops of the lashes as well. But really just going to apply a couple coats of this. And then put it on my lower lashes as well to make those really defined. I like really defined, almost spidery lower lashes. I think it looks gorgeous. But that's just me. Then I'm going to take the Pure Cosmetics Bronze and Brighten Palette. And I'm going to go into the bronzer shade on a fan brush and use this to bronze my skin. And I take a little bit at a time because this bronzer is really, really pigmented and it's also really, really glowy. So it does give a gorgeous look to the skin. And I do pull this onto my forehead and my temples just to kind of bronze and contour. And why is it so... Oh my goodness! It's probably because it's so dewy that my camera doesn't know what to do. That's it. And then I'm going to take the peachy shade of blush in this, and it does have some like pink purple reflex in it, so it's going to add some even more glow factor to it. And I just use a really light, swoopy brush to sweep this onto my cheeks. I find that it diffuses it beautifully and never applies too much. Then I'm going to use the highlighter shade on a highlighting brush and apply this directly to my cheekbones, and goodness gracious, look at that glow. That is intense. I do a pull it on above my eyebrows, on the tip of my nose, and pull it down my nose just a little bit, and I highlight my Cupid's bow with it, which <gasps> just looks beautiful. Highlight really pulls a look together, doesn't it? It just, wow, it's amazing. And then I set my skin using the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. And there's the lashes! Oh wow, that changes the look so much. Then I'm going to apply the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in this shade, um nudist peach and i like this liquid lipstick um this shade isn't the most pigmented i prefer other ones but it is a really really nice formula not too drying 
So that is the completed look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, let me know if you want other looks and if you like voice through. Thanks, guys. See you next time.